It's always the same shit. What's going on everyone? I just finished doing 350 Pindle skin runs and as you can see the servers are down once again. Now some thoughts about Pindle skin. Um, well, he's basically like this cheap slot machine. You know, the cheapest one, but the payout can be incredibly huge if you just hit those 27s in a row. <laughs> but, you know, pull the machine, nothing. Pull the machine, nothing. It's like one in, I don't know, I did 350 runs and I gathered like 9 clips. Or 12 clips, I can't remember. But I first did a 100 and I thought I'd stop at 100. But after, I think after 100 runs I had three clips so I couldn't really make a video about that then I did 200 clips couldn't make a video about that 300 almost and I did 50 more just because why not uh, like I said he's a very very it's like you don't really get a lot I think out of these 350 runs I saw unique items maybe I mean a maximum of 30 runs so yeah if you're gonna run Pindle, be you know don't be too hopeful because he seldom drops a lot of items. Um, my thoughts about Pindle skin is he's a good boss to farm if you're just putting him into your other MF runs, but if you're just gonna farm Pindle skin with the 30 second lockout, I, I can't justify doing it honestly. There's no point. You you do a run, the loading screen takes like five seconds. You do a new run, the loading screen takes like, you know, to get in and out, it's like 10 seconds of just loading. So you have to get into the game, into his portal, get out of the game, and that's like, you know, the whole thing. So it's just remaking a game with the 30 second loadout included brings about each run to 50 seconds, I'd say. Um, so yeah, just some thoughts about Pindle. If you're doing him, don't hope for too much, but he's a decent guy you can get lucky i think he can drop any item in the game so if you're doing him good luck to you i won't be doing pindle anymore if you like this video be sure to give it a thumbs up comment down below if you have found anything from pindle skin and i'll see you in the next one take care on run 32 we get the infamous strangle bracers Just one run later, the Gold Strike Arc drops. On run 88, we hit a small charm, and the small charm decides to roll 100 poison damage. On run 44, we get a noteworthy White Monarch with no sockets. Still a good find. Four runs later, we get a small charm with 5% magic find. On run 183, we get a crown of thieves. Run 189, a item that you don't see fairly often, a Lenimo sash. Run 204, I decided to include this one because of the rare Arkan staff that dropped, but still, a lane of hands. On run 263, we get a very, very good Smiter Helm, Gilemi's face. Run 271, a weapon with a lot of deadly strike, an ethereal head striker. An item I decided to include because of the plus 4 hurricane. I don't know, is that good? Run 284 comes along, a set amulet, I'm hoping for Tal Rashas, but it's not a Tal Rashas. 
a green Ornate Plate drops, it's of course Griswold's Heart, and this was on run 341.